Come into your comfortable seat. Close your eyes. Find your breath. Check in with your body, release any kinks, any tension you might be holding. We're gonna ease into our practice today. So ease is our theme for today. We're going to do everything on the mat with ease. That doesn't necessarily mean it's going to be easy. It just means we're going to try to find ease in our movement instead of that struggle that sometimes we experience when we're just trying to knock out a workout on the mat and our brain's kind of out of it. I want you to take it in and find the ease. So come onto your mat. We're gonna come all the way up onto all fours, kind of wiggle out, take your knees together, push your hips back, reach your fingers really far forward and bring your forehead towards the mat. Shake your head side to side. With each exhale, settle. And then start to look up into your hands. Drag your fingers back towards your body. Roll your shoulders up, down, and around. And go the other direction. Then come back over onto all fours. Spread your fingers nice and wide. Plant down into each finger pad, each knuckle. Start to tuck your toes under. And we're gonna come up off of the mat just a little bit and shake your hips. Pull your belly in. Shake your head and neck. And then eventually work your way up into your downward facing dog and then keep moving there. So find some ease in this position. If you're finding it a little uneasy, then look into your hands, draw your shoulders up a little bit right over your wrist, puff into your upper back, bend your knees, and then start to tilt your hips back a lot and you can stay here. That'll be a little more easy on your wrist and your hamstring. And then if you want, you can start, as you start to deep breathe, straighten into the legs. And you can bend one knee at a time. And then look back into your hands, shift your shoulders forward just a little bit, lift your left leg and start to bring your left foot all the way up into your hands. Plant your back knee down. So we're coming into this lunge, find a little ease here. Nice. 
place. Maybe move back and forth. And then come back to your center, plant your hands, lift your hips, and forward fold over that front leg. Both knees can stay bent here if you're tight. And you can also find some movement in the body, or you can decide to stay still wherever your ease is. And then bend back into that front knee, Puff into your upper back, and I'm going to lift this foot, take it all the way back, downward facing dog, and then I'm going to move to the second side. Right foot's going to come forward, left knee's going to come down. And then I'm just moving. Nice and easy. And then the next time you come all the way up, lift that back knee, straighten into the front leg, and fold. And bend back into the front knee, plant your hands, lift through your upper back to take your foot back down dog. Spread through your fingers, maybe bend your knees, shake your hips, look out into your hands, shift your shoulders forward and come into a plank. Good, pull everything up. Back to down dog. Plank again, and this time through plank, I'm gonna pull my left knee all the way up to my left thumb, let my hips come down, relax my back toe, and come into a nice little proud pigeon and then walk it down. We're not gonna stay here long. A couple of deep breaths. A couple means two. <laughs> so on the exhale of that second breath, come all the way up, tuck your back toes, and to come up, we're gonna lift hips, use the belly to pull, and then we're gonna switch sides. So you're moving nice and slow, the whole time drawing the belly up and in for support and asking it to do some work. And then roll it down. Same thing here, two breaths. On the exhale of the second breath, hands come right underneath the shoulders, back toes tuck under, lift up, plank. Nice, don't lock out your elbows. Pull your belly up, pull your back up. Yeah, then look forward. And as you do, bend your elbows, let your body come all the way to the mat. Release your toes, plant into your hands. Cobra. Let's get moving in Cobra. Oh yeah. Roll your shoulders back. You can look back over your right leg and left. And then lower. Take your chin to the mat. Stretch your hands behind your back and interlace your fingers and push into your low back here. Oh. And then continue. Knuckles going to the back of the mat. And as they do, they lift you up, stretch into the upper back. Head is neutral. Inhale. Hands underneath you. Toes are gonna tuck under, and we're just gonna come up onto all fours. And then, downward facing dog. Yeah. And then one foot at a time, walk your way all the way up to your hands, forward fold here. Find your breath, ease. What's ease mean to you? Are you forcing it? Are your hamstrings screaming at you? If so, bend and then find your sense of ease. Here I like to imagine I'm in the pool and everything's super graceful. <laughs> if, only as you, if only you could be as graceful 
out of the water as you are in it, right? Inhale, halfway lift, stop here. Now lengthen, I'm pushing out through the crown, pushing out through the tailbone, trying to get space between each vertebrae. Drawing the belly up and in. And then shake it out. Inhale up. Exhale, fold. Inhale up. Exhale, fold. One more time. Inhale up. Exhale, fold. Ragdoll. And then bend your knees. And we're going to just slowly roll all the way up to standing. Then shake it out. So I'm wearing my jammies today and my shirt says namaste all day. <laughs> so namaste to you all day and also nah, I'm going to stay in my house all day. <laughs> Good. Shake it out. And then come to the top of your mat. Feet right up underneath your hips. Untuck your tailbone, draw up and into your belly, lift through your heart center, take your arms out beside you, open and close your hands, roll out your wrist, good, and then inhale, arms all the way up, exhale, bend your hips way back to fold forward. Inhale and half lift. Exhale, fold, bend your knees, take your right foot as far back as it'll go, and inhale your arms up to a nice big lunge. Find your breath. Maybe even dance here a little bit. Inhale, lift up. Exhale, claw your hands down, and then open them up, and then forward fold. Hands all the way to the mat. We're going to shoot the left foot back. Find your plank. Knees can come to the mat, or they can stay up. Come all the way down. Belly button to the mat. Inhale, cobra. Exhale, downward facing dog. You can still use those knees to come back to your dog. Shake it out. And then right foot all the way up to the right hand, lunge on the other side. So really root through the feet and then start to lift and rise through the body. Good. Open and shut your hands, wiggle your fingers, kind of move in your lunge. And then Claw your hands down and then open your chest and then exhale, hands to the mat. Back foot's going to kick all the way up to meet the front, forward fold. Bend your knees, arms out wide to come all the way up. Hands to your heart, breathe here. If you're feeling static, if you're feeling stiff, wiggle into it. If you're not, good for you. I'm glad. But I think that we all hold so much tension in our bodies that we could probably all use a little wiggle and a little shake. Good, come back to the center. Hands to your heart center. Feet right underneath you. Inhale, take it up. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, half lift. Left foot's going to go as far back on the mat as you can get it. And we're going to come up to that lunge again. This time we're going to take left hand to the right knee, right hand to the back. See how I'm pushing this back heel back 
and I'm lifting the back knee. Now I'm squeezing my inner thighs and I'm pulling my belly in. Even if you can't tell, <laughs> it's still happening. Good, then come back to the center. Shoot those hands all the way down to the mat. Plank. This time if you want to do chaturanga, you're going to do that. Stop here and then come up, upward facing dog. Hips are lifted off the mat. And then float back to down dog. Left leg's gonna shoot to the front. Ooh, that was a little noisy. <laughs> I try to do it so that I don't make a sound with my foot as I bring it up or take it back. Good, so now we're in the lunge. Right now, my inner thighs are not squeezing together at all, but as I twist towards the front and then bring my right hand to my left knee, my inner thighs are gonna squeeze and my belly's gonna pull in. Back to the center. All the way down. Back foot is gonna come up to the front of the mat and fold. Inhale, half lift. Exhale, fold. Bend your knees. Inhale, all the way up. Palms together. Whoa, breathe. Shake it out. Inhale, up. As you exhale, Move slow. As you inhale again, we're gonna bend the knees, shoot the right foot back, and this time we're gonna plant the heel. So spread your toes and then place them back down onto the mat. And then we're gonna come all the way up. My hips are opening towards um, the right side. And I'm going to continue to bend into this front knee. Yes. And then I'm going to move my hips a little bit. And then I'm going to find a really nice warrior two legs. So I'm pulling energy up through the toes, through the feet, through the hips, through the heart. And then the last thing out is the arms. Virabhadrasana two. Ease, find your ease. Good, and then as you exhale, just kind of come down and we're gonna go to plank. You don't have to move here. You can stay right here in this plank. If you wanna move and do a little vinyasa, go for it. If you don't, stay. If you wanna do a child's pose, do a child's pose. And we'll meet right back and down dog. I'm gonna take the right leg up, bring my right foot to my right hand and plant my left heel down. And I'm gonna start with my toes building from the ground up as I get strength in my legs. So warrior two, I always feel the strongest in warrior two. So, just kind of prepare to get really strong and then hold and breathe. And if you want to move, move a little bit. And if you want to stay and be still, then I'm going to stay right here. And smooth. Come back down. We're going to kick that back foot up to meet the front. Fold. Shake your head. Yes and no. Find movement. Maybe even take your hands behind you, interlace your fingers, and let your hands come 
over your head towards the floor. And then release, roll, shake it. Inhale, your arms come all the way up and shake it out. Find your ease. Yeah. Nice. Now, we're gonna come out wide with the feet, both legs straight. And I'm gonna take my left toes to the front. My right toes are just straight out. And I'm gonna leave both legs straight. But if your hamstrings are very tight, just bend your front knee a little bit. And if your hamstrings are not tight, do not lock this knee out. Can you see the difference? Like how hyperextended that looks? I'm gonna keep my muscles wrapping here to keep that from happening. And in so that's gonna protect my knee joint and also start to strengthen all these muscles. Okay? So I'm gonna take this hand all the way down and this hand up. Triangle pose. Trikonasana. <laughs> and then to come out, because I don't want you to hyperextend that knee, bend into it and then come all the way up using your obliques, sides of the belly. <laughs> and then we're gonna flip. So, Flip your feet, right feet to the back of the mat now, and left toes straight out. Both legs moving towards straight, but that does not mean they have to be straight. I'm gonna show you on this side. So, completely locked out. I'm just like bearing straight down on that joint. But if I give a little bend in my leg, and I start to squeeze all of these muscles up and in, then I'm so much more like supportive and strong, building that strength here. And so I'm gonna come into triangle pose on the other side. Oh, I think triangle pose feels awesome. If you have a block or something, you can always have your hand up or you can have your hand on your foot or you can have your hand in front of you to balance and you really use your core. Good, then to come out, bend your knee, find your way up, and stretch it out. Toe heel those feet together. That's a lot on the inner thighs. So this time we're gonna do it again. Yay. Um, but then we're gonna add in a lot of a stretch. So I'm gonna show you lots of different options on how to do this, okay? So flip your feet, trikonasana this way, so we're moving to triangle, nice and easy, okay? So if you feel strain, prop your hand up. You can also be right here. But to move forward, we're gonna let the hips move back, chest comes forward. This hand's gonna come to the mat, and then we're gonna bend that front knee. And then I'm gonna try to walk my left shoulder up underneath my left leg, and I'm just gonna do some little push-ups here. <laughs> and if you're like, oh, what the what? You don't have to do it. You do not have to try to get that shoulder up underneath the knee. Good. And then I'm gonna come back to triangle by straightening that leg here. And then we're gonna do it on the other side. So bend your knee to come up, shake it out, find your ease. If you find yourself making this face at any time, then back off, okay? That is not quitting, that is listening to your body. Triangle pose. And then I'm gonna take my knee and bend it. 
I'm gonna walk my left hand down and I'm gonna try to get this right shoulder up underneath my right knee. And then do some little push-ups. <laughs> And then come all the way back to straightening that front leg, triangle pose, and then bend your knee to come up, and then shake it out. Okay, so three times a charm, one more time on each side. This time we are going to work into a little bit of a hand balance. So just like you did chaturanga, you're opening your fingers and you're gonna bend your elbows and squeeze into your body as you come down, maybe with your leg wrapped over your shoulder. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna try to see how I can do this where you can actually see what I'm doing. All right, so you're starting in triangle, sorry. I was getting excited. And then bend that front knee, hand comes down, shoulder goes under the leg, and then I'm gonna plant my hands and open my fingers real wide, and then maybe release that foot. And then I'm gonna bend. Oh. And then to come out, I'm gonna use the strength of my belly. Yeah. And then back to triangle. Okay, so let's try it on the other side. This is one that you can workshop at home, okay? You do not have to go at the same pace I'm going at. So, we're working on upper body strength, but even the strongest person might not be able to do this flexibility-wise. So if that's the case, then you can work on your push-ups, <sighs> or you can take this leg back and do some chaturangas, or you can try it. I'm gonna walk this butt in, yeah. So play with it. This leg may come up and out, bend your elbows. Oh. And then to come out, slow, slow, slow. So see, that was not easy, but I could still do it with a smile on my face. So I know that I'm not messing into my joints, that I'm requiring lots of strength to get the job done. Strength here, strength here, strength here, okay? So, if that did not happen for you today, let it go. It doesn't matter. That is just fun and games. So, what we're gonna do now is we're gonna try to add the back leg into this pose. <laughs> And I'm gonna try to find the best way to show you on camera what exactly I'm doing. Um, this is called Ekapada Kundanyasana, and I'm gonna start from a lunge. Okay, left side, I'm gonna get under there. I'm going to walk my foot in, and then I'm gonna just start to take it out, bend into the elbows, face goes low, and back foot comes up. And then I'm gonna try the other side. <laughs> Maybe I'm gonna go for a little bit more stamina on the other side. And in my personal practice, this is what I do. I just play. So it doesn't matter what it looks like. It doesn't matter how long you hold it. And it sure as hell does not matter <laughs> um, what anybody else is doing. So don't feel um, inadequate. Feel empowered. Second side. So I'm starting in this low lunge, pulling my shoulder up underneath me. I'm gonna lift that front leg and then I'm gonna bend into the front arm. And lift the back leg. <laughs> and come back to this. And shake my hands out. I'm doing this as a special request. You know who you are my little arm balance, hand balance champion. So, oh, have fun with that. I'm sure you've been doing it on your own as well. So anyway, that is a fun one to practice and you can always practice it 
with your back knee down and you can come here and practice working the upper body and pulling into the abs. If you don't have those, it's not gonna work, okay? If you do that, do the other side, couple push-ups, couple inner thighs, and then we're gonna meet right here in Malasana squat pose. <laughs> Relax your wrist. That was a good bit on the wrist because you have to lean so far forward. So you definitely feel that. Make sure you do your tiger claws so you're pushing down into the finger pads and the knuckles. Next, we're gonna work into crow. And so for crow, you have lots of different options. Same thing. I like to take my heels together, knees out wide, hands right in front. And then I'm gonna bend the elbows, lean forward, lift the hips. And then you create this entire little shelf for, for your body to balance on. Do it again. So, crow pose takes a lot of um, abs, a lot of upper body, and then as I mentioned before, this. And it's not that you have to think hard about it, it's that you have to stop overthinking it because sometimes that fear is what gets in your way of that float. So don't let the fear get in the way of your float. Um, knees together, take them out to one side, pull your arms together and we'll do it um, side crow. So spread your fingers nice and wide, lean forward, lean forward, lean forward. And then maybe the feet come up. side. If coming up today is not happening for you, just the side with a little bend and a little fold is a nice way to align your spine. I usually get a good little movement there. So try the other side. Ugh. Sound effects are okay. You can maybe kick the foot out. <sighs> Is there. <laughs> Shake out your hands. Shake out your wrist. Flap your wings. Oh, so, ease. I love um, having ease as my theme and then throwing poses at you that are not really known for their ease factor right? That's the best way to test you. See if it's working. Because you can say, Mandy, I feel like I'm doing everything with ease, but then I look out and I'll see people like this. So <laughs> I have to say, relax your face. Relax your face. <sighs> relax. Let go. Anything that happened on the mat for any of that doesn't matter. We're already moved on from it. Okay. That was the past and now we're right back to the present. So what we're doing now is what matters. That doesn't matter at all. It's just a fun way to practice. And I personally feel like the fun in my practice is what pulls me back to it day after day. Go put your feet together. Knees out wide. Lift into the crown and walk forward. Wherever you are today, in your fold, find it. Close your eyes, breathe.
We're gonna take one leg over the other, and then we're gonna pull them back towards our body like we made a little bow. And then ground through your sitting bones, lift up and then lean forward. Ooh. The bottom leg can be straight here if this is a little much. As you come up, opposite arm to leg and twist. Come back to the center. To switch sides, roll back, flip it, and roll forward. Good. Ground through both sides. And pull. Ooh. <laughs> Second side might give you a lot more sensation. But still here. Ease. Find your ease. So you're not grounding down. Trying to get that stretch. You're just letting it happen. And the more you take those deep breaths, the more your exhales start to release, you'll start finding your body letting go. That's when your muscles are like, yes, that's the ticket. And then as you come all the way up, opposite hand to leg and twist. Back to the center. Start to slowly unwind the legs, plant your feet, windshield wiper your knees. And then I'm gonna take my legs out wide for this one. This one is kind of a stinker sometimes. So find your ease here, inner thighs, the more you stress them, the more they're gonna act like a two-year-old that does not wanna do that thing you're asking it to do. But if you come at it with a little, maybe a little sweet stuff, they will comply a little easier. Breathe. 